We have breaking news out of San Francisco here on Retro Sports Radio Center. Star head coach Hefe Yamam has been fired. The team cut his four-year deal short after the controversial coach could not win back-to-back Super Bowls with what many considered the best roster in the NFL. TMZ leaked footage from the locker room following the 49ers' loss when the owner unceremoniously dispatched of Coach Imam. You are done. Fired. For more on the situation, Cenk Jenkins joins me from outside of your mom's Cincinnati home. Cenk, what have you learned? I reached out to Hefe for a comment on the situation, but Mm -hmm. all I got was this cryptic message about a darkness retreat he's taken with Aaron Rodgers. Mm -hmm. If he's hanging out with that guy, who the hell knows what he'll do next? Maybe even retire. Do you think that's a real possibility? Or worse yet, would he actually take a job with the Jets? I did hear back from his agent, who said that they would listen to any offers, including college programs. His agent went on to tell me that your mom was spouting off some wild stuff, like he'd even consider pioneering a football league in China. Knowing Hefe like I do, it seems like the firing hit him hard. Too low! Too low! Too low! And all bets are off. Thanks, Cenk. Coach Imam has firmly entrenched himself as a legend of the game. Two Super Bowl rings with two franchises. He developed one of the greatest offensive systems in all of football. This is why I'm a football mind, a genius. He coached the greatest player of all time. Hall over Rice. Is that enough for him? We all await his decision with bated breath, especially since retirement is absolutely a possibility. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Decision. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, after losing in the frozen tundra, I did contemplate retirement. That was one of the hardest losses I've ever faced in my coaching career. Shane Glennon, he's out the league, and he's not getting let back in. Okay, I let all the owners know we're blackballing him. Okay, I don't care. He played like he had CTE, okay? We're giving him that Antonio Brown treatment. That kicker, that kicker, he's dead. He's dead. He's gone. He's off the face of the planet. All right, he, he, he's eliminated. We sorted him out, okay? But we're moving on. Not thinking about it anymore, all right? The core fans of Hefe Yamal definitely putting a lot of pressure on me throughout the offseason. Damn near threatening me to come back to coaching. You know, I thought about possibly taking a year off football, you know, spending some time with my wife. And also, I got a call in the offseason, man. B. Hall. He's also contemplating retirement. He's 34 years old. He's on an expiring one-year deal. He's already the GOAT. Clearly still the best receiver in the league. He doesn't really have much to prove. But he told me. He said he's not going to play if I'm not coaching. After last season, man, season where I feel like it kind of tarnished my legacy. Not being able to win with my favorite childhood team with, with, with that stacked roster. I feel like there's unfinished business here, ladies and gentlemen. Three years ago on this date, I sat here with the same haircut, with the same hoodie when I started this series. And I didn't know that I would be doing the same thing three years later. God, I don't touch grass. But it is time to come back home. Back to where my journey began. I'm back since then. I am back, Bengals fans. I am back. And it feels so good to be back. I feel like LeBron coming back to Cleveland. I had to go out to the Bay to do my thing, but I have unfinished business. Cincinnati was 10-7 and last year and got bounced in the wild card. They clearly need a new head coach. Matter of fact, the entire league was looking for me. I'm telling you, I got recruited by literally every single team. But I stay loyal to my roots, all right? This is where I came up. This is where I made a name for myself, and this is where I'm going to take over. For the start of year seven. All right, Hefe Yamam walks out on them to become new head coach at Cincinnati. Assessing the squad and recruiting new coordinators will be a priority upon arrival. You bet it will be. I am excited to see what Cincinnati looks like since I left. I've been gone for two years. I want to see what the GM did while I was gone, all right? But before I get into that, ladies and gentlemen, I brought my players with me. You thought I was gonna leave San Francisco empty handed? <laughs> I'm like Denzel, you know what I'm saying? I'm leaving here with something. I brought my players back with me, all right? B Hall is back in Ohio, where he became the best player in the league when he took the league by storm. He signs a new two year deal at a cheap price. Back within the system, still got potential. He's gonna raise the standard here, all right? But I got three more players with me. We had expiring contracts in San Francisco, so I had to grab these boys off of free agency first, man. The man Main man, Deron Ham, eat your ham. The man who single-handedly won me a retro bowl. We had to bring him back to Cincinnati. Two years at nine million, very good deal. He's got that championship DNA, and you know what I'm saying? His, his hips don't lock. Prototype DB, all right? Deron Ham, welcome to the Bengals. And we also brought uh, Hakeem Walton with us. Yes, that, that's right, I, I, I brought him back. Now, 
he still sucks. Like, he's still about 40 pounds overweight. He almost broke the treadmill. But at $13 million for two years, still got five-star potential. And the most important thing is, I, I think he improved a little bit. He put up back-to-back -back 10 out of 10 performances in those playoff games. I'm just being honest. Then lie, woman lie, numbers don't. You know what I'm saying? I, I saw greatness out of Hakeem. So, so I'm gonna bring him back. But if he pisses me off, we could always trade him for a first-round pick to Cleveland. And the last player that I brought back was not through free agency. This is the first move that I wanted to get done when I came back to my office in Cincinnati. I instantly hit the phones. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what great ones do. And I made a call back over to San Francisco. We sent a second round pick to pick up the pizza man, Lorenzo Bossa. Who will get a chance to become the lone tight end, the star tight end role. So I'm excited to see him shine and flourish, man. He might become a first team all pro. But let's start taking a look at our brand new team. Starting at quarterback, we have Mafe. Mafe? 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 I think it's Mafe. We're paying him $40 million, all right? He looks incredibly Caucasian. Looks like he grew up in a very safe neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he looks Catholic. Darren Mafe, 25 years old. Four-star QB. He's capped off his potential. But oh my god, he's got an absolute cannon of an arm. Look at that throw accuracy and that arm strength. Oh, this guy's got a rocket. Holy crap, he's got decent speed too. He does not hit the treadmill though. But Darren Mafe, he's looking like a franchise QB. I ain't gonna lie. Let's move on here. Next up, we have... Hunt. Whoa, 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 this isn't Kareem, is it? Okay, it's Ifet. He's a 33-year-old. Uh, we're paying him $20 million over the next two years. Uh -huh. We're paying him at age 34 and 35 as a running back. He already is losing stamina. Got good speed and strength still, but I, I'd imagine these stats go down. I don't know about this guy, ladies and gentlemen. We might have to draft our own running back because I'm not a big fan of old running backs. You know, running backs, their life cycle in the NFL, they, you know, it runs short. This is just some of the things that you learn through years of GMing. You know what I'm saying? And uh, fed through here, all right? His brother's a criminal. I might be trading you. Can you, can you play kicker, though? <laughs> <laughs> We're going to trade Ifetu right away. Kansas City offering a first-round pick. We're acquiring draft capital. F.A. Your mom is back. All right, we'll see you later, Ifetu. Next up, we have the wide receivers. First up, we have Moxie. Three and a half star. Another two-year deal. $23 million a He's year. 29 years old. He's maxed out every stat. He looks like a speedster here. He honestly, kind of mid. Quinton Moxie, I'm not the most impressed. We have to cut one of these receivers anyways because no way b Hall's riding the bench. That's just not happening. But let's check out my boy Griffin. I like the hairline. Great start already. Let's check it out. Freddie Griffin. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Reminds me a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Terry McLaurin. You know what I'm saying? 27 years old. He's on a one-year deal. All right. So he's fighting for his life in the NFL. We'd love to see it. You know what I'm saying? He's on a contract year. His morale's bad. That's plus one strength. We love it. And he's got room to grow. He's already got as much speed as Quentin Moxie. His catching stats can still go up as well. Stamina too. Freddie Griffin and b Hall. Is that the next wide receiver? Do I think it is, man? Quinton Moxie, get out of here! We'll see your ass later, all right? Freddie Griffin! Keem Walton, we already know about him. Oh my god, no, there's no way. There is no way Retro Bowl knew. Nah, 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 nah. No way they gave me a linebacker named Rice. There, there's just no way. That has to be purposely done by you, Simon. Trayvon Rice. I don't care about your stats. You're staying on the team. He's exceptional. So am I. <laughs> I cannot believe this. Trayvon Rice, he's definitely silent on the sideline. What's with this team and stamina, though? I haven't seen a player with good stamina. Do they not have treadmills at the facility still? Like, this was a huge problem last time. We didn't have ice baths either. We had mold throughout the stadium. Like, why is everyone's stamina so low? He's young, though. 23 years old. Got room to go. He's on a three-year deal at $19 million, which is not bad. I'm paying for potential there, but Trayvon Rice at linebacker next to him is Camp. Two and a half star linebacker Jakob Camp. He is retiring. Okay, so Jakob looks like a vet. Mm. You know, I might keep him, guys. You know, we need guys like this who are seasoned and experienced to, to, to teach guys like Rice. Guys like Walton. You know, the, the, the ins and outs of the game. You know, it's like having another head coach on the field. You know, I can tell Jakob he's going into coaching after retiring. I like it, man. And also, you know, he's the only one on the team with stamina. So maybe he can teach the guys. You know what I'm saying? Jakob Camp. And then the last player we have on this team is. Stuber. Three star DB Angelo Stuber. 24 year old. He's on a one year, okay? He's playing for his life. Contract year. He's worth a second round pick. He's got potential too. Strength and tackling are already decent. He's got room for speed. Let me know what you guys think about Angelo Stuber. Keep or trade? Let me know in the comments. All right, before we move on to the staff, let's take a look at if we have any expiring free agents here. 
Okay, this game's trolling me. There's just no way my only expiring free agent is a kicker. Uh, 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 most three-star kicker. Oh my god, what is that kicking range? No, 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 no. We need kicking range, okay? Did, did you not see what just happened? Get the hell out of here, all right? We will be picking up a kicker. I've learned my lesson. All right, you guys have taught. You guys are right, okay? You guys are right. I was wrong, all right? Relax. A kicker will be on his way to Cincinnati. Let's check out the front office. Stadium, training facilities, rehab facilities. They're still ass. They're still trash. I know. Still the same old, but let's start with the OC. Darren Judy. 49 years old. Training regime is light. I'm not a fan. You know, he kind of looks like a wizard, but I don't like light training. Not that, That's just not in my DNA. Now we're going to need some more CC to be able to fire Judy. So I might have to go up to the owner's office and ask for some more money, but let me know in the comments, do I fire Darren Judy and bring in my own staff? I think I will. Let's go to the defensive coordinator here, Avery Inman. Again, light training regime, man. This is why Cincinnati has been losing. 37 years old. He's young. He's younger than me. All right, I'm 42. Seven wives deep as well. You feel me? Avery Inman. I'll leave this one up to you guys, man. Do we trust in the boy or should we clean? house and get new staff man i am back next video we will get started with the draft let me know what i should do with stuber i'm excited to continue the series all right shout out to everybody watching and i'll see you guys at the draft as the head coach and the general manager of the cincinnati Bengals.